Oh boy, a Gorgon. At least I think it's a Gorgon. Last time I, like, the first one you fought that the other game was actually Medusa. Ah, oh, crap. Roll! Roll, roll. Ow, that quick attack. Two stag. Ow. Nope. There you go. Time to rip your head off. Oh yeah, God does this. I hate those ones. Those kind of mini games don't I don't like. Uh I hate to dodge. Too much dodging. Too much dodging can be very annoying. I also don't like these guys because they can technically insta kill you. This is annoying. Damn it. Damn it. Don't like these guys, they're so slow to fight. It's methodical. No, it's not. Not really. Okay, that was just bullshit. We attack you, then we dodge again instantly anyway. Take forever to stinking kill. But at least they're lenient with these ones. I just fear the later possible um quick time events that might include the turning turns. Ah, crap. Now it's time to break your neck. Dang it. Don't like it now. Especially considering it does... I need to see more of it to make sure because in the last game it was very annoying with like, oh, we're going to change it up. Now you have to do the same motion, but we make it look weird because we don't like you and because there's only two ways to actually do this thing, we're going to make it really annoying. Hey, I don't like Zeus none like you. In fact, I want to kill Zeus. So if you would kindly help me do that, that would be very nice. Also, I really like the like symbols and stuff in this one for like the siphoning. Annoying. Just annoying. Look, his eye is glowy. You have to go to it. Not yet, though. Because now that I know a thing, I'm just going to quickly go back. This is me repaying the game for just like, darn you for occupying my brain. Now we're going to go back just a little bit and get that treasure chest that I missed. Because I thought, maybe you come back. Perhaps. Maybe. I don't trust games anymore. And who knows, maybe I'm completely wrong. And you can go back. And kill the dude. And I'll never know. That's annoying. Time to vents that don't need to be time to vents. But are... Okay. 
It's like little things like that. Just it takes the littlest things to just set me off and be like, this annoys me. Because I want to free Mr. Fireman of his pain and misery. But the game apparently won't let me. Who knows, maybe during the next cutscene that takes substantial time, I'll double check just to make sure. Because it really freaking annoys me when games do this. Just have things be clear. Don't muddy things. I need to be here. Why? This is a titan. He should be able to stand on his own of epicness. This is a titan. He should really stand on his own of epicness. Don't need the annoying bat enemies. Just saying. Especially since attacking sends you away a little bit, which isn't cohesive to this. Here go. Bats, bats are annoying, and I don't have my revolver attack just yet. No, you. I will now throw this in your eye. I can only assume. Close enough. I find it funny, though, that he's just only attacking with his breath. Titan, does that in the level? Or are you meant to defeat the Titan and then continue the level? Because I don't like games that don't things like or most likely it's the straightforward path that is the correct one, but you never know. And after the first game, I don't trust you developer, it's not too much. Dead satyrs. I need to be here right now. Just keep spawning. Oh, now that I have these, maybe I can go back and kill them. Because now I have the flames of Olympus on my chains again. Maybe.
More flames for the fire. Goddamn. I know. I've been doing that. Thank you. Now let me open the stinking chest. defeat the titan just yet? I don't know. Game confuses me. Game confuses me lots. And then not do the thing, god damn it. Oh fuck you. Into the fire you go. I couldn't save with none of them here. Want to do the things? Let me do the things. Try things, and once again, I don't know if killing the Titan ends the stinking level. Because I don't, and I don't trust the developers on this because the developers have had a record with me in not understanding their line of logic. We don't need this. Like maybe it's because there's a cage there. So it's like, oh, you can't do it yet. I don't know. Once again, don't understand the game developer's logic sometimes. Just saying that if this does a thing, I'm totally like... If this does something that I don't want it to do, I'm restarting. He will not help you, so you're going to rip out his eye. You require Typhon's Bane. All right, so, yep, you did knew, you did have to do this. Run, Kratos, he's angry with you. All right. Use a target shoot, all right. Hold down L2 and press the fire, all right. Them. Don't turn around! No! Oh jeez, he's too far away. I don't want to don't want to take him out first so I can have an easy time with these dudes. No! That'd be ridiculous. You give me a bow and then basically say don't use the bow yet. Morons. Not smart development to strategies. It bothers me. It bothers me so much. Ow. Exploding arrows! How dare you! Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to upgrade my stuff. Rampage of the Furies, and I can do my nice little thingy thing. And then 2,000, whatever, four. Yeah, God of War. I'm going to work my way up to God of War on PlayStation 4.
I mean, I updated my schedule to say it's like the main playthrough is gonna be God of War now. Well, God of War 2, technically, but... But so far, I've been having the thing that is constantly bothersome. I don't know where the game people want me to go more often than not. Hey, funny, Typhus, I said the same thing to dear old Zeus. But now I think I can go back and kill Mr. Fireman. Free him from his eternal torment, even though right now he's choking. Poor dude. Oh no, I have magic. Yay. Don't think that chest was there before. Or at least I don't trust myself to not open it. If it was there before, anyway. Oh, wow. Yep, I hear you. Yeesh, that's never a good sign. Almost falling asleep while screaming. Bye, man. Bye, bye. You're dead. And now you'll get what you want. The ending of death is just nice. Freed Prometheus from the torment of the gods. His flesh has tainted the fires of Olympus and embodied it with the power of the Titans. These ashes that doesn't make too much give sense. You great strength, Kratos. Take them. How did a mortal who tainted the fires of Olympus give it power of the Titans? I don't know. That confuses me. 